Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, October 6th. I'm Casey, and this is my co-host, Keenan. Thanks for joining us today. We have many electives here at FMS that our students really enjoy. One of those electives is Spanish. Miss King is the Spanish teacher here, and her class is really fun. Take a look. I am Davis, and I'm here with... Hayden. And... Steven. So, tell me a little bit about your Spanish project. Well, I did Diego Maradona, and he's a famous soccer player from Argentina. Well, I'm doing uh, Hernan Cortez. <laughs> he's, a, he's a conquistador from uh, the 1500s and 1400s. He's uh, really, really famous in Spain. All right, I'm here with Miss King. And so what are your students learning in Spanish? During the first six weeks, we learned ABCs, numbers, um, a few songs, and the weather. What kind of projects have your students been working on? The project was called Hispano Hablantes Famosos. It means famous Spanish speakers. And they were assigned a person to research. That's cool. How many students do you have? About 115. That's a lot. Say something in Spanish for us. Me llamo Señora King, y este es mi estudiante favorito. Se llama Tyler. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Another class where they're doing something pretty cool is our theater arts class. Mrs. Carter has her students performing monologues. We've recorded a few of them to show you, so let's get started with the first one. Break a leg, guys. People just can't handle strong women leaders. They can't. You gave one little off with their head and everybody's calling you names. They would never dare call a man. Oh no, a man who's strong and sprouts commands, powerful, someone to be revered. A woman is just a plain old witch. It's so unfair. Don't you think I'd rather my husband do all the dirty work? Of course I would, but look at him. He's such a sniveling idiot. He can barely cut his own he can barely cut his own steak, less, much less chop off someone's head. It's completely ludicrous, a complete waste of my time. His heart bleeds more than a freshly popped zit. Every time I get a sentence, he's right behind me. Pardon me, the blasted criminal. Says they should get a trial before sentencing. I know they're guilty. Otherwise, I wouldn't have arrested them in the first place. Guilty as charged is how it's got to be. Just once, I wish he'd take the heavy, take charge of things. But you know what the fool would do? He'd release every one of my prisoners and stop enforcing my rules. Like it or not, I'm the woman in charge. Can I help but that my kingdom's full of dirty, rotten... What? It appears I've got a blonde in the garden bothering my playing cards. You see, my day just never ends. Up with her head! Nice work. Here's some exciting news. Tomorrow will be iPod Day at FMS. That's right. The Student Council will sponsor iPod Day tomorrow. If you'd like to listen to your iPod in class tomorrow, just bring $2 to any office and you'll get a sticker that will enable you to jam out to your tunes all day long. With your teacher's permission, of course. So be sure to bring your iPod and a couple extra dollars tomorrow so you can be a part of iPod Day. And don't forget to bring some money for the Counselor's Corner Store, too. Mrs. Schulte will have ice-cold drinks, tasty treats, and yummy candy for you to enjoy after school. The store is located in the concession stand next to the band hall. Make plans to pay Miss Schulte a visit after school. Now let's check in with Colt to see what's in our weather forecast. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Colt, weatherman here. Current conditions in Lubbock, Texas are 73 degrees, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. And here's your five-day forecast. Looks pretty sunny, but partly cloudy and a chance of isolated storms through Monday. I'm Colt, weatherman. Back to you. Thanks, Colt. Now let's find out what's going on in sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Greg, and this is Michaela, and here's a look at today's sports. Did you know that our 6th grade girls pre class had a cross-country meet not too long ago? Yes, I did, and they, the girls did really well. Here's more. Hey, guys. I'm Ashton, here with... Faith. And what events did you compete in in the track meet? Mile. That's fun. How'd you do? Um, I think I did pretty good. The last day I got third place, and I ran... 7 minutes and 12 seconds. 
Wow, that's fast. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Michaela here with Kennedy. And what event did you compete in in the track meet? I ran a mile. How did you do? I came in fifth place and my time was 7.48. Okay, thank you. Jada. And what did you compete in in the track meet? I ran in the mile. How did you do? I got fifth place with seven minutes, 39 seconds. Okay, thank you. Turning to other sports news, Tyler Davis and Haley wanted to spotlight our boys' sixth grade pre ath class. Let's find out what they've got going on. Hi, I'm Haley here with Tyson. Hey, Brian. What have y'all been doing in pre ath? Uh, we've been learning the plays and playing aerial wrestling. He said everything. And what's your favorite thing about it? Everything. Learning all the plays. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone, have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. No! Bye! Bye.